Some surfers are just like Kelly Slater, always on top of their game. For the rest of us, 99%, surfing can be an endless struggle of non-stop paddling. To solve this, Dimitri and his team from Huntington Beach are developing a next generation propulsion system called Boost Fin. What's up, champions? Mike here. Welcome back to Jet Surfing Nation, your place where we test and review all the available jet boards and e -foils. And today, as always, I have something special for you. We are going to unbox and test the new Boost Fin system. Let's go! You know, guys, the truth is, jet boards are very fun, but they're very expensive as well. So when I first saw Kickstarter of Boost Fin, I was very excited to try it out. Finally, an easy and affordable system that will help us catch more waves. It cannot get better than that. Little I known that I would have to wait almost two years to get it in my house. Actually, I cannot believe that nobody could come up with such simple idea in the past. Long story short, I placed my order and became one of the first bakers. And now, two years later, I finally received my long anticipated box. And I have to be honest with you, most people don't understand how long it takes to get a product from a prototype stage that kind of works to the actual mass production quality product. So if you placed your order and if you still didn't receive the fin, just bear with them, have some patience, and I'm sure in a few months you'll be among the lucky ones who actually received this white box. All right, without further ado, let's open up this box and see what's inside, shall we? Are you ready? Ta-da! Let's see what we got inside. Here is the tutorial and quick start guide. Check this out. Nice touch. Here we got US fin adapter. Here is of course the charger for the main fin. Here is a couple of spacers. Here is a little remote control. European and US adapters for the charger. Some tools and alien key. And of course, are you ready? Drum roll. The main part, the boost fin. Here you go, looks amazing. I need to say the quality looks really great. I cannot wait to try it out in the water. It's quite heavy and much bigger than I anticipated. We also got this little cool magnetic screwdriver that we are going to use to start the fin, like that. Here you go! Now we can use this little remote to start the fin. The top and bottom buttons are used for long and short boosts accordingly. The top one you need to press twice and the bottom one just tap once. You can also adjust the power and set different modes using the boost up for your iPhone or Android. Here you go! Oh, it works! <laughs> nice one! You hear that? That's the power of boosting! So far we got only a US longboard adapter, but soon you'll get more adapters to choose from. Attaching adapter to your longboard is pretty easy, just put it in. And now use your allen key to tighten it up. And then just put the fin on. And then just tighten it up with a couple of screws. That's all you need to do. And finally, for your peace of mind, just in case, Use some sort of leash or a rope and attach the fin to your long board so you're not going to lose it in a strong wipeout. There you go guys, I cannot wait to test it in the water. Let's go! Alright, let's get real for a second here. To be honest, I'm not even a real surfer anymore. I haven't been out in the lineup in the last 5 years. Now, I am almost 40, out of shape and barely remember how to paddle. So wish me luck and don't judge me harshly. After all, this is not a demonstration of my skills that I never had. This is just a test of a boost fin. Let's go!
And here is a bonus tip for you. You can use a system like green skid or fresh shower to clean your fin on the go. Now we are here at the lake and Melissa is going to try boost fin to see if it got enough power to let her stand up without waves. Let's do it! So we have here the remote control and to go I just press this black button. All right. Good luck. Okay. Go in. Good luck, wait. Come on. Perfect. It's our pin. Good luck. Thank you. First impressions, Melissa. It gives me enough power to stand up, and I like it a lot. Let's go again. All right. Come on. Come on. Now let's see if we can use it to propel our stand-up paddle. I don't really have an adapter, so let's just hold it behind and see what happens. I pressed. Woo! It's going! Hey, it's working! I would imagine it perfectly works with stand-up paddle as well. Our test succeeded. We just proved that it's possible to surf on the lake without any waves and you can even use boost fin to propel your stand-up paddle board. My review wouldn't be full if I didn't let my friends try the boost fin. So today we have Elena, she's a passionate surfer, she's the one waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning going first in the water. And we also received the new boost fin remote control. It's smaller, it's much better than an old one, so we're going to check out in the waves. Are you ready? Let's go guys, let's do it! Elena, first impressions? It was a lot of fun. Swell is not very big today, as you can see, but with the boost fin, I caught a lot of waves and have so much fun. Guys, you should definitely try it. All right. And now let's quickly cover the most frequent questions I collected about the boost fin. The most important question is how to increase the power of this boost fin. When talking about the power, it's very important to understand two main factors. The speed that you are going to get with the boost fin depends a lot on your weight and the size of the board. So if you're a lightweight person like Melissa and you're going to get a long board or even stand-up paddle board, you're going to get a lot of speed. You can even go without paddling. However, if you're a little bit heavy like me and you're going to get a mid-size or a short board, you're not going to get a lot of speed with a boost fin. There is a big difference between the jet pump on jet boards and the little propeller that we have here. Due to resistance of the water, you're not going to get from zero to full RPM using the propeller. That's why it needs a few seconds kind of to warm up to get going. That's why you shouldn't expect the rocket kind of boost like you get from 15 horsepower jet surf using this tiny fin. This is more like a gentle push from your surf instructor when you learn how to surf. You know, if you remember, the instructor was giving you that final push to catch the wave. 
and that's exactly what boost pin is going to do for you you can set different power settings on your app however you need to remember that you shouldn't put 100 percent expecting the maximum thrust you're simply going to overburden and burn out your battery way too quickly that's why a boost pin is recommended not to use more than 75 or 80 percent power it's not giving you any difference in thrust but it's going to save your battery a lot and protect from overheating what else can you do another thing you can do to increase the power is simply take out the prop guard net from here and suppose to boost pin it can boost your power up to 25 percent which is pretty good how long can it work and which settings it can use you can set different settings in your boost app simply connect the boost pin app to the pin and then you can set different profiles there are two main types of boost you can get the first one is called a long boost for me i set it at 45 percent for 180 seconds this kind of boost is helping you to paddle out to get to the lineup as quickly as possible without getting too tired and the second is a short boost that's actually will gonna help you to catch the wave in my case i'm using smart settings it means i'm not going to ask for 100 percent power right away for the reasons i just explained we're going to use two seconds at 50 percent to kind of warm up the engine then 75 percent basically full power maximum thrust for eight seconds and then finally 40 percent for 20 seconds when you already got the wave and this will help you reduce the drag when you're already surfing so the propeller is not going stand still it keeps on going at low speed and helps you to ride along the wave easier again smart settings i'll put them on the screen here 50 percent for two seconds 75 percent for eight seconds and then 40 percent for 20 seconds is it noisy can you turn off the sounds the propeller itself is not noisy you cannot even hear it when it's in the water however you can hear a light chum like ding, when it starts going however you don't need to worry about it other surfers are not going to hear or suspect anything you cannot turn off the sounds completely at this time but maybe in future in the up settings you can turn off the sounds of the proof is it necessary to take the screwdriver to the beach well to start the boost fin you need some sort of a magnet Currently, they're supposed to start using the screwdriver, but you can use any magnet you want. For example, the magnet from JetSurf will work just fine. Take a look. ta -da! You can use any sort of magnet and the future remote is going to have the magnet built in into the remote, so you don't need to worry that you have to take the screwdriver with you. You can also start the boost fin right in your car, for example and then it will stay on for about 30 minutes before turning off automatically to save the battery which board should I choose and which adapters? you can connect boost fin practically to everything to stand up paddle board, to mid size board like here 7 feet and even to the short board it comes with standard US long board adapter but also you can get different adapters such as FCS2 uh, stand up paddle board adapter and even universal adapter that you can basically glue to any part of the board and then attach the boost pin to it you know you can actually connect three or two boost pins to make it go super fast yeah i saw on the video the guys connected three boost pins to one board and synchronized using the app and basically it goes <laughs> like a jet board do you use it to catch a wave or to paddle out actually it's both exactly it depends on your skill most of the people who used to surf or they already know how to surf they don't have a struggle catching the wave but what they really need to do is to get actual boost when they're paddling out otherwise you get exhausted before you even get to the lineup and that's exactly what boost pin is going to provide you tell me more about controller the controller has two modes and you can actually connect it on your hand or even stick it to the board or to your stand-up paddle the future smart controller will also have the magnet built in so you don't need to bring the magnets to the beach and it will have extra features like GPS and maybe something else can you charge the boost pin without dismounting it from the board? yeah you can simply charge the boost pin without dismounting simply take out the waterproof plug and then plug in the charger 
In future they're going to release 12 volts charger for your car so you can even charge boost pin on the go. But remember, always charge it, not when it's wet. Yeah, good point. Make sure everything is dry and you flush the boost pin with fresh water after using it in salty water to avoid all the contacts getting rusty. It's really important. Electronics hate water, trust me guys. It's very important to clean contacts and you can even spray the contacts with contact cleaner. How long does it work for stand-up paddleboard? Personally, I don't have stand-up paddleboard adapter, but I've seen the videos. They've been testing it and it works around 70 minutes, giving you subtle kind of boost and helps you paddle. Especially, it helps when you go against the wind. Can you go scuba diving with the boost fin? Yeah, the boost fin guys are developing the scuba dive adapter. Basically, it's an adapter that helps you attach two fins on the sides and then you can go scuba diving with it. It's basically like a scuba jet, but not so fast. Yeah. Do you need a leash for it? The boost fin I received didn't have a leash, but maybe a future orders will get one. In my case, I used a simple rope to attach the fin to my board just for a peace of mind, but I think it's pretty strong and not going to fall off anyway. Is it cheating? Is it for cooks? Here is my opinion about this. If you're a jerk kind of guy who is cutting corners, stealing the waves, you're gonna stay a jerk. However, if you're a humble kind of guy, respecting others, respecting the rules, you're not going to become a jerk just because you're using the boost fin. So, for whom is this product then? Well, it's not for you if you're Kyle Laney, Laird Hamilton or Kelly Slater in your prime. It's for you and me, regular guys who might like surfing, but just a little bit out of shape, too old, maybe injured, or maybe you're just learning and need an extra push. If you used to surf but life got in the way, this might help you rediscover love of surfing. And after all, the best surfer out there is the one that's having the most fun. The stock is real, guys. Keep on riding. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers! Okay, before I go, let me just show you one more full row session. Here in the morning, 6 a.m., I'm going for a sunrise surf session with a boost fin. I press the button, as you can see, I already started paddling. You can go hands-free, completely, very easy, lazy man's job. And the wave is coming, get ready, ta -da -da, press the button, paddle, 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 and wipe up. Okay, getting back to line up, quicker, another wave, get ready, and, oh man, wipe out again. Oh well, the truth is, boost pin is not going to make you a pro surfer. You still have to surf. Once more, get it together. Yeah, we are riding. Much better. Okay, one more wave. And we are riding. It's giving me just enough power on such a weak way to keep on going and going. And this is the longest wave I've ever had. It just keeps on going. Amazing feeling. This is so much fun, guys. The stock is real. Keep on riding. I'll see you next time. Cheers.